might want to hurry. Uh, excuse me? Snow. It's coming in early. Yeah, we had a little reprieve for a while there, but this one's going to be a doozy. Angela's closing her shop early so we could get home, beat the storm. Thanks for the tip. You betcha. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Hi, this is Drew. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. <sighs> the wreath. They want the contracts. Now it's, it's two days before Christmas. Merry Christmas. Let me see. Angela. Michelle, I thought I just wished you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, but I forgot something. Hmm. Let me guess, the Christmas wreath? How do you do that? Because every year you come back in because you forget something. Merry Christmas, sir. Welcome to Angela's Supermarket. Hello. Uh, we're actually just about to close. I'm so sorry. It's the weather. Oh, this is just my day. It's like you have this Christmas memory fog. And every year, you forget the Christmas wreath. I guess I just get caught up with the season. <laughs> You'll find, if you're lucky, one at the very end of the Christmas aisle. I just got to grab a few things. I'll be in and out. I'll be back before the last person leaves the line. I promise. OK. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. OK. Do you mind watching my bags really quick? Yeah, of course. OK, not only is my Christmas stuff in these bags, but my grant application is in them, too, so. Yeah, I don't think we sell grant applications here. Funny. <laughs> OK, I got you. Now hurry. We close in a couple of minutes, OK? OK. Sorry. True? Michelle. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hi. Um it's 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 been such a long time. Yes, it has. Yeah. Oh. You you take it. There's not another one? Nope. It's the last one. It's okay. We can have it. No, 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 you take it. <laughs> take it. Okay. That's the spirit of Christmas. Take it. Well. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. So what, are, what, you what are you doing here? here? <laughs> yeah, I thought you lived in Manhattan. I do, I do. Yeah, I, I'm just in town to, to surprise my Aunt Beth for Christmas. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> How is she doing? Good, good. Um, this is her first Christmas without my Uncle Doug, so oh. we'll see how it goes. I'm so sorry. I, I loved your Uncle Doug. He was the one to convince us to build those ridiculously tall gingerbread houses, remember? Right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like oh, my gosh. Five right, towers right. tall. Yeah, oh, my gosh. That's crazy. That was so long ago. Yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> so, um. Oh, yeah. Um... yeah. It's... <laughs> so, when was the last time we saw each other? I think it was during Christmas. What about you? What are you doing now? I'm keeping busy. Well, it's good you were able to take some time off for Christmas and come visit your aunt. Um, well, I was until about 15 minutes ago. Oh, is family law that demanding? I wish I was in family law. Oh, well, what are you doing now? Uh, I ended up in contract arbitrations. Oh. <laughs> is that fun? Fun? Yeah. You don't have fun at your job? I mean, I never thought of it like that. I like what I do, but fun? OK, well, maybe fun was too strong of a word. Uh, what about challenging? To a degree. OK. Interesting? Mm. It pays the bills. What about demanding? I'll take demanding. <laughs> yeah, after I got my law degree, um, I got an offer from a number of firms, but I chose to go to Manhattan, and that's where I've been ever since. Oh, well, they don't have a family law practice? Well, I'm making partner now, so 
It's fine. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe now that's your partner, you can introduce them to family law. Well, I'm not a partner yet. It's an offer, but no, it's just not what we do. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You always do. Does this bring back any memories? <laughs> Are we the only ones that still love a good fruitcake? Probably. <laughs> can you hand me one too, please? Yeah. Thanks. So, did you end up getting your doctorate? Absolutely. And now you are Dr. Michelle Nichols. Well, if animals could talk. <laughs> Although, I'm pretty sure they would just call me Michelle. And you work here in town, right? Yep, I run my own clinic. Great, but I'm not surprised. Why is that? Really? In high school, you came up with at least 100 different ways on how to run a veterinary hospital. <laughs> yeah, I was so young, I thought I had all the answers. And I still do have all the answers, <laughs> but it's a little bit more complicated now. I'm applying for a new grant for my clinic. That's great. Uh, speaking of which, I need to turn in the paperwork in an hour. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take up all your time. No, no, no. You didn't take up all of my time. <laughs> I really enjoyed catching up with you, Drew. Yeah, I, I really appreciated catching up with you too, Michelle. Good afternoon, everyone. Angela's Supermart will be closing early so everyone can drive home safely. If you can please conclude your shopping and make your way to the exit, we have left one register open for you to make your final purchases. On behalf of the entire staff here at Angela's, we wish you a very Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I guess we should head back. Yeah, yeah, I, I wish we had more time to catch up. Me too. <laughs> wow. We really shut this door down. Yeah, it seems like everyone made it out except us. <laughs> hey, Michelle, you find everything? Yes. We need to get out of here before we get snowed in. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's really coming down out there, and I have one more stop to make before I head home, so. Oh, you found it. Yes. We did. Huh. Yes, well, Drew, let me have the last one. He was the perfect gentleman. Oh, chivalrous <laughs> and oh so very Christmassy. The perfect combination. <laughs> Drew, this is my friend Angela. Like the name of the store. One in the same. <laughs> Wasn't it called the Supermart before? Yeah, that was my parents' store. Yeah, she took it over last year. I convinced her to give it a makeover and call it Angela's Supermart. Well, it's the perfect name. Well, thank you. Uh, how do you know about the supermarket? Are you from around here? I'm sorry, give me a second. Angela, this is the Drew. Drew? Yes. Drew, Drew. Yes, you're Drew. What is he doing here? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what was the question? Uh, nothing, never mind. Uh, I, you have everything you need. Yes. You didn't forget anything. No, I'm good. I actually, I have to go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And hopefully next time uh, we can do more than just a few minutes in the store. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like that. Yeah, me too. I, I'm sorry, I have to go. Merry Christmas. Oh, wait. Don't forget these. Merry Christmas. <laughs> My life is in these bags. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Okay. No hug? What? Guys? The storms come in. I mean, it's complete white out. I don't think the roads are gonna be open. Oh, no, 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 I need to get out of here. That's not a good idea. I can't be stuck here. No, I can't be here. Well, what's so wrong with waiting the storm out here? I have plans. plans. Okay, well, people make plans and God laughs. I'm sorry, but I have contracts and have deadlines. Yeah, and I have to get my grant notarized by six. Do you have a four wheel drive? I do. Okay, not even Santa's making it out in that fog. Yeah, but together, oh, it's okay. okay. No, no, no. I am not letting my best friend in the whole world go out in this. No, ma'am. You guys are staying here. I can do an electronic notary. Where is the computer aisle? Aisle 22. Okay. That's great. I can get my documents. Uh, aisle 22. Yeah. Internet's down. What? No, no. The internet cannot be down.
I have nothing. I don't either. How can I get my documents? Yeah, and how am I gonna get my grant notarized? Look, guys, we might be in this for a while. It's not that bad. Right, it's, it's gonna be fine. There's gotta be a way. If we get to a higher elevation, can we get a signal? Like the roof. Perfect. Okay, no, you guys are not going on my roof. Besides, I just spent a lot of money getting that redone for the winter. Okay, no roof. Well, you said you have an electronic section. Maybe we can set up a router. Great idea. All right, let's not open all my inventory right before Christmas. I'll pay for it. Drew, Michelle, the internet is down because the weather is bad. When the weather lets up, my internet's going to turn back on just like my phones. We're just gonna have to wait this out. All right, this is the best place to be. Sorry, Angela. You are forgiven. Now, if you excuse us, Courtney and I need to batten down the hatches. All right, come on, Courtney. Okay. Any luck? Nothing. This isn't how I was expecting my day to be. No. You okay? Yeah. I'm just mad at myself. For what? Sun slow flow is not your fault. No, but Angela's right. Yeah, I do this every year. I forgot the wreath. I do it every Christmas. <laughs> There's a lot going on on Christmas. Yeah, but this time it was really important. And instead you were talking to me. I kept you too long. Hello? The door's locked. Oh, there's a key. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you okay? It was cold outside. My, my car battery died and I, and I walked like four blocks. Come on, let's get him warmed up. Yeah, 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 let's go to the home section. Maybe they had some blankets and some heaters. Thanks. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I didn't even see this when I came in. Yeah, Angela goes all out for Christmas. When her parents were in the store, she was the one that did the displays. Uh, hi, I'm Richie. Angela. Yeah, yeah, this is Angela's store. Oh, hi. Uh, wow, <laughs> this display is absolutely incredible. Ta -da! Yes, now it's Christmas. <laughs> Oh, don't even bother. Yeah, there's no cell reception. <sighs> How about you come with me and I'll make you some hot chocolate? Really? Come on. <laughs> oh, can I <gasps> Yeah, of course. Do you guys want any? Uh, yeah, but I'll stay here and enjoy the fire. <laughs> me too. All right, we'll be back. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> this is nice. Surprisingly cozy. Yeah, especially since it's a display model. <laughs> So, I take it your clinic is going through tough times? Why would you say that? The grant. Oh, no. The grant is so that I can expand the clinic. Yeah, I love it when the animals have a lot of space to run around, and during the winter months, it's really hard because of the snow. So this grant will give us the opportunity to expand the inside for them. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> but not if I miss a deadline. It's okay. We'll have fun regardless. Just not wide open space fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be right back. wonder what if? About us? Sure, about us, about everything. Something tells me that all roads would have led you to the same place, even if we stayed together. You would have stayed in Parker and, and you would have opened up your own clinic. And the only variable would have been 
Us? Yes, us. And yet, here we are, sitting in Angela's supermarts, surrounded by Christmas decor and, and watching you logs burn in a fireplace. Even sitting on a really comfortable couch together. <laughs> Except we would have been surrounded by cats and dogs. <laughs> and polar bears. That's right. You love polar bears. Although those aren't the best domesticated animals. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Oh, there you guys are. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The best hot cocoa courtesy of aisle four. <laughs> are those marshmallows? Oh, and chocolate and a grater to sprinkle on some chocolate. Instant Christmas. Angela, this is delicious. The secret is multiple flavors of hot chocolate whipped cream. That's what took so long, is finding the right chocolate layers. Mm, well, your efforts were not wasted. <laughs> mm. You have a little, uh, whip, a little, yeah, whipped cream oh. on your nose. <laughs> Did I get it? I got it. There you go. <laughs> I'll have to sell these. I can't have them get dirty. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Do you guys hear that? It sounds like a train whistle. Yeah, we have a toy train display, but it broke earlier today. I was going to fix it, but we just got so busy I didn't have time. Courtney, did you? No. No, fixing guitars, I could do that all day, but trains, that's not in my wheelhouse. Let's go check it out. Yeah, what aisle is it on? Aisle 11. <laughs> yeah, I think they wanted some alone time. Oh. <laughs> they were high school sweethearts. Oh. That makes sense. Yep. <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely down here. in this locomotive. Oh, Coach Haven? Dr. Nichols, <laughs> what are you doing here? We got snowed in. The storm came in faster than expected. The store's been closed for an hour now. An hour? You know, I was so busy tinkering with this thing, I guess I didn't hear the announcement. Husband, right? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'm Tristan Haven. Everybody calls me Coach. No, we're not married. No, we dated in college. No, we're, we're not married. Not married. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared that up. Well, whoever you are, it's nice to know you. I'm Drew. Drew! So, is he a patient of yours? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I meant with animals and stuff. No, it's okay. It's fine. How is Nutmeg? Oh, fantastic. You know, that, that, that diet that you put him on, he's running around like he's a puppy again. I'm thinking of sprinkling some of that on my breakfast cereal. <laughs> well, I love to hear it. Hey, uh, a couple of us are around the corner in the furniture section. Do you want to join us? Yeah, come join us. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess I'm, I guess I'm through here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I only came in here so that I could get one last present on my Christmas list for our youngest granddaughter, Emma. Well, I came back in here because I forgot the wreath. Yeah. Lucky me. Best laid plans, huh? So did you find the gift? No. <laughs> I mean, who would ever thought that uh, Sylvia Robot building kit would have been a big hit with kids? Well, does she like trains like you? No, 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 you know, gymnastics and particularly robots. And that's the thing about the toy. That Sylvia thing, once you assemble it, it does a backflip. Wow. Would have been perfect for Emma. That's so cute. 
Well, you know what? I'm sure that we can find something else that Emma would really love. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go look. Well, lead the way. All right. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a toy aisle. <laughs> yeah. Ask what profession the coach was in before he retired three years ago. Yeah. You were a coach, right? Yeah, insurance adjuster. Mm. But she just said you were a coach, so how does that... Eight like... kids. Eight? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Teaching yeah. them oh, basketball, baseball, volleyball, everything you can think of. You know? <laughs> That's how you get the name coach. I get it. <laughs> yes, and I've been taking care of the Haven family for almost a decade now, and now they're kids, too. Yes, you have. Talk yeah. about job security. Yeah, thankfully they keep me very busy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, family's everything. Whether it's an animal family, a human family, it's really what makes life all the better. You got kids? Nope. No? Hmm. You dating? Oh, all right. Well, Calm down, coach. I see where you're going with I'm that. I'm just asking a question. Mm -hmm. I think I found the source of the train whistling, although he wasn't making the train whistling, but he got stuck in the store with us. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was just fixing the train, actually. Hey, I'm Coach. Hi, wait, you fixed my train. How you doing? Yeah, well, you know what? I mean, whenever I find something broken, I, I just naturally try to fix it. Why? Thank you, I, I'm not upset. I wanted to get it fixed before Christmas. Well, it's working now. And it's not even Christmas. Look at that. So, sir, you deserve a cookie. Oh, thank you, Penny. Thank you. <laughs> Has anybody heard anything about how long this is going to last? Forecast says it's going to be all night. How'd you hear that? You have cell phone reception or something? No, no, I heard it on the radio in my car on the way over. And you still came anyway? Hey, have you ever seen a seven-year-old girl's face just light up when she finds out she just got the greatest Christmas present ever. Well, that's why I made the trip. Well, I'm hoping we're still gonna get out of here tonight. You guys know what? This is the best place to be during Christmas. Hey, we're in a huge warehouse with everything you could possibly imagine. <laughs> so even if we're stuck here till midnight, the next night or the next night, mm. We're gonna make the best of it. Yeah. And do you know why? 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 Because it's Christmas. Yeah. 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 And we're fine, we're safe, we have each other. Mm. Yeah. Right. I see where this is going. Um, Angela, do you have a Christmas tree we can borrow? Does Rudolph have a big bright red nose? And can we borrow one and decorate it? We have the biggest selection in Parker. Well, then it's settled. We're gonna make the best Christmas tree ever. <laughs> I love decorating the trees. <laughs> yeah, and I love opening old ornament boxes. Mm -hmm. Remember that ornament I got you with the polar bear? Yeah, yeah, it, the, the hook on it broke a couple years ago, but I still have it up on the mantle in my apartment. Well, we might not have any old ornaments here, but we can make new memories. All right. Let's all just get in the Christmas spirit, shall we? <laughs> Get away from all these problems, right? <laughs> While this storm continues, right? I'll get the lights. I'll find the Christmas tree. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna go with you. Yes, and us ladies will go ornament shopping. Yes! Yay. Let's do yes. it! Yes. All right. I think I saw some. All right, let's see you back here in 20. Power grid's not going out. Oh. <sighs> How are you doing? Hmm? Are you okay? You seem distracted. Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just, I was so close to getting my grant notarized. I just should have planned it better. Okay, but that's not what I'm talking about. What else would there be? But Drew? Angela, that was so long ago. It doesn't seem that way. 
We made the right decision. He went to one school and I went to another. And we started our own lives. Made a decision with your head, not your heart. Yeah, it was the practical thing to do. And where did that get you? You clearly haven't moved on. I am very happy, actually. Don't you think it's kind of funny that you and Drew are stuck here before Christmas? No, I don't think it's funny. Hmm. I think I'm starting to see what's behind this Christmas fog of yours. What do you mean? Did you break up around this time? That has nothing to do with it. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I think we should just focus on the ornaments, okay? Mm -hmm. Found one! Oh! <laughs> that is so cute! I think it's perfect for our tree. <laughs> Not an ornament, but I think it's it. Wow, yeah. look at all of this. Okay, I, I think that'll do it, guys. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done anything like this. Where's everyone? Still shopping. <laughs> Didn't your Aunt Bev used to do lights like this? You're actually looking at the guy who used to do Aunt Bev's lights. You're joking. <laughs> all this time, I thought it was Aunt Bev and Uncle Doug. Nope, it was all me. I actually taught my Uncle Doug before I went to college. Hmm, you are very talented, sir. What can I say? I miss my calling. Hmm. Well, you still have time to change your mind? Well, if I don't get these documents out, changing careers might not be an option. Well, they can't fault you for bad weather. I mean, plus, it's Christmas. Yeah, well, bad weather isn't an option. Christmas isn't an option. Even family events aren't an option. This is what you want? I thought I did, but now that I'm hearing it out loud, it doesn't seem very fun. Yeah, not at all. You know, I had an offer to work at a family law. Not far from here, actually. Really? You turned it down? Yeah, the firm offered me partner and more money, so. <laughs> All aboard for the holiday express! <laughs> that is so cute. Here's the ornament. That's a word. It's just that my store hasn't felt so big and yet so intimate at the same time. Isn't that Christmas? What do you mean? Well, Christmas is so big, and at the same time, it's, it's so personal. It's in our heart. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what make this moment even more special? Gingerbread houses. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go find some. Oh, we'll be right back. They're so cute. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> The gingerbread houses. Right. And... Cookies. 
Cookies. Cookies, yeah. <laughs> I haven't had those in so long. Yeah. I think I'm this. Yeah. Cocoa pie. Mm. So you all have your own gingerbread houses. Do we need to bake them? Nope, they're already baked. You just need to assemble the walls. What if I eat the walls before I put it together? Not recommended, but understandable. Who's paying for all these? I am. OK, just checking. And you guys can do it with all of the items that are on the table. But only the items that are on the table. Can we only make houses? What do you mean? Well, you have enough here to make a whole town. We can build Parker. Oh. God, no, come on. Emily. I no. love that idea. Yeah, we can't go outside for Christmas, then we bring Christmas to us. Come on. I am at a big disadvantage right now. I haven't been back in town in I don't even know how long. <laughs> and I was hoping Michelle and I could rebuild the big gingerbread house again. Oh, I think we got really lucky with that one the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, everything in this town is about the same as it was when you remembered it, all right? In fact, I think just about everything's still here, isn't it? Sammy's diner. Oh, Sammy's, yeah, yeah. And the roller skating rink. Definitely. I go every Thursday. I go every Monday. The bowling alley. I go with my friends all the time. Well, I guess not a lot has changed. I mean, you could always build Angela's Supermart. You know this place like the back of your hand. <laughs> Can we start? <laughs> yes, you have my blessing. <laughs> Building the Parker Town Post Office. Do you know that is the oldest building in the town? I don't know. Hmm. Why the post office? Well, one, because I work there, and two, because that's where Santa gets all his mail. Can't have a Christmas without the post office delivering mail to Santa. How would he know what to bring? How would the elves know what to make? Post office is very important to our family Christmas. <laughs> That makes sense. Angelou, what about you? What are you making? Well, she's probably going to make her store. No, I'm actually going to make the gazebo in the main park. I always wanted to get married there, have a Christmas wedding full of lots of lights. Aw, that's beautiful. You're single. Yeah, I have no time with this store. But a girl can dream. Did good to have goals. Well, I'm going to make the amphitheater in the community center. Oh, amphitheater. Do you sing? No. She is a wonderful guitar player. Oh, have you heard her? No, she is just being kind. I have my sources. <laughs> well, the amphitheater, I go there all the time. I haven't heard you or seen you. I'm, I'm kind of shy about it. She'll get there. What are you making, Michelle? <laughs> OK, well, I'm going to make my clinic as if I got the grant. So over here, I'm going to have the new adoption room. And then over here, I'm going to have the acre of land so the animals can run around. And these three candy canes will be my new assistants. <laughs> that is a great idea. Thank you. It is. How many animals do you have at home? Oh, I have three cats, two dogs, one parrot, three turtles, and two cottontails. And a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me you have a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> but I do have 24 fish in a 100-gallon tank inside. So those are my indoor animals. Wow. Talk about taking your work home with you. Yeah, well, those are the perks of my job. <laughs> what about you? Do you have animals? No, my apartment complex says no animals, so no. What? You love animals. I do, but I just can't take care of any right now. What? I'm always busy. Uh, well, you're not busy right now. 
I am very busy right now. I'm building a gingerbread town. <laughs> and I can't tell you how hard it is not to eat the walls of Duncan Library. <laughs> the library. Yeah, it's still around, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So why are you building the library? No reason. Uh, we had our first kiss. <clears throat> ah, I knew oh. it. But I did spend a lot of time studying there, and I actually do love studying. Oh, yes, he does. He loves studying. I did a lot of my case study at the Public Access Law Library. Well, why go to the library when you have the internet? What? <laughs> First of all, you have many more specific resources at the library. The internet's so random and unfocused. And you also have a librarian who, by the way, is the best study partner ever. Yeah, and then when you have a book in your hand, you're more likely to read it instead of just scrolling through headlines. And they're also always open on snowstorm days. Yeah, unlike the internet. That's quite the gazebo you have in the making. <laughs> well, I was a design major at RISD. Yes, that's why her displays are so impressive. Yeah, I told her that she should have Angela Supermar offer custom displays for Christmas houses. Like setting up the lights. More than that, like the inflatables, the displays, the lights, like bringing Santa's village to your house. And I said I'd think about it. Yeah, and I will be your first customer. And I'll make sure that Aunt Bev is your second. What? <laughs> the house is always decorated. Yeah, well, that was when you were doing it, but you left, and then now Uncle Doug is not here anymore, so I'm sure she would really appreciate her house still being decorated for Christmas. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Hey, you okay? Yeah, it's just weird that I'm, I'm not with her right now. I mean, I'm only a mile away. I'm so close to her, but I can't get to her. Yeah, it's okay. You will soon. And I can go with you if you want. Really? Yeah. I, I'd love that. That'd be great. <laughs> you know she thought the world of you. That's because I was the only one that loved her fruitcake. I did too. Fruitcake? Really? Okay, yeah, don't make fun of me, but this fruitcake was unlike any other. I delivered a lot of those for the season, and I've never tried one. I promise you, this, this fruitcake was like another level. I don't know what she put in it, like whether it was cinnamon or pumpkin, or it was like this special ingredient, but it was so good. It's true. Yeah. Michelle even asked me for help, and I thought it was cinnamon or nutmeg, but no, it just wasn't right. Well, maybe when we're done building our gingerbread town, uh, I can give you the secret ingredients. Oh, yes. Finally, the secret will be revealed after all of these years. Well, if you really wanted it, you should have just reached out and asked. I would have, but I didn't hear from you, so I... Well, cell phones do work both ways, Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, Michelle, wait. This night is so confusing. It, it feels like we're right where we left off, which was a really great place, but now I'm wondering, did we make the right decision? I miss you a lot, Michelle. And I thought about reaching out to you so many different times. You did? I did. But <laughs> neither one of us did, so. What does that say about us? That we were young, and we didn't know any better. And now we do, so where does that leave us now? I don't know. But seeing you has brought back so much. 
but <laughs> it's Christmas and when the snow clears and the town's Christmas lights come off and the ornaments come off the tree, you won't be here. <laughs> You'll be back in your petless apartment in New York. Michelle? No, it's okay. <laughs> no, listen, I love what we had when we were younger, but we're not those people anymore. It work Drew and work Michelle, we haven't even met yet. So let's just enjoy this night together and make it one last Christmas to remember. All right. I can do that. Ladies and gentlemen. The gingerbread town of Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. How did you get your house so perfect? Oh, oh I, I just like to, you know, tinker with things. <laughs> it's a Santa's house in the middle of town square. <laughs> and his workshop is inside, and that's where he makes the toys that he finds in all of the letters that come from the post office. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. I have all of the leftovers for us to snack on. Oh. Wow, I think I'm already on a sugar high. You know what I'm thinking? I cannot remember the last time I've been unplugged this long. Yeah, you're right. I'm always connected to something, whether it's the smartphone, smartwatch, smart tablet. Even if I have a rare weekend off, I'm still connected. I mean, is it good? Is it right? <laughs> Does it feel good? I mean, it feels good not getting a text every five seconds. Well. Speaking as a man who was alive during the before period, it's real good. Yeah, I could get used to this. <laughs> Courtney, what are you doing? I'm just cleaning up. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Well, I don't mind. It's what I do. Here, I'll help you out. I didn't mean to stop everyone. It's okay. We'll, we'll all help. Yeah, we'll all help you. We did a really good job on this town. Yeah, it turned out great. You know, I think I'm gonna display it. You know, you should do a ginger town contest every year. That is another amazing idea. Yeah, new traditions for the new owner. Ow. What happened? Nothing, it's fine. But let me see. It's just a, a, a paper cut. Mm, looks like you need a Band-Aid. Do you have a Band-Aid? Yeah, I have a first aid kit in the break room. It's on the shelf. Do you want me to go with you? No, it's okay, we can go. Yeah, I might need a doctor. <laughs> True. <sighs> okay, you have a seat. <laughs> Let me see. The lighting's kind of bad in here, but I really don't see anything. I told you it was nothing. Yes, but it's better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. And 
You really don't need a Band-Aid, but I'll give you a little Santa anyway. All better. <laughs> Great. You're a miracle worker. You see that? Just like on the hill, you saved me here too. What happened on the hill? You don't remember? No. I fell off my sled, and then you took out this travel first aid kit, and within minutes I was saved. And you saved Christmas too. Hmm. Well, I don't remember billing you for that one. Well, I just brought you a gingerbread house, so uh. does that count? <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we can call it even. <laughs> um, well, uh, thank you for the uh, really cute Band-Aid. <laughs> I'm feeling more festive already. Oh, you're welcome. Um, we should probably get back to the others. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that I got stuck here with you tonight. Yeah. I am too. <laughs> And I'm sorry about your grant. <sighs> I'm sorry about your contracts. Yeah, it is the week of Christmas. And I'm realizing that I actually have to slow down. I shouldn't even be working. There you go. When I do become a partner, I can finally take my foot off the gas. And I can, I can spend time with family and, 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 and have these great Christmas dinners, you know? And, and I can be with friends and not have to rush two contracts out two days before Christmas. Because that's not what it's about. No, it's not. <laughs> I wanna have fun. <laughs> yes. I wanna have fun. <laughs> I wanna have fun. Yes! <sighs> Michelle's Christmas magic strikes again. I swear, one minute with her and Scrooge would have changed his tune instantly. You would have needed to be visited by three ghosts to show him the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> I want to have fun! <laughs> oh! I remember you getting me one of these little guys. <laughs> That's right. I knew I had to get you one for Christmas. You were obsessed with penguins. Yes. <laughs> oh, polar bears <laughs> were your speed. <laughs> right. <laughs> Really? Do you have it up in your office too? No. <laughs> they expect me to be professional. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I bet if you were a family lawyer, you could have a nice fluffy polar bear in your office and the kids would love it. I bet you're right. Wait a minute. Is that it, Sylvia, the robot building kit up there? You mean the one Coach wants for his granddaughter? Yes. Give me a hand. <laughs> OK. <laughs> she is going to love this. Yeah, she is. Backups? 
Supposed to. Yeah, we know it's bad when the backups don't back up. Oh, there they are. All right, well, if the power is out, that means the heat will be too. Courtney, can you get sweaters and blankets for everyone? And if you two could go to the camping section, get flashlights, dial 11, and I'm gonna go check on the freezers. Oh, your food. Oh, we should be fine. I have two backup generators for this. I'll get the clothes. Yeah, yeah, I think I can help in the kitchen. Me too. Kinda nice and comfy here in the dark. <laughs> oh, here they are. A lantern. <laughs> they probably just need batteries. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. Yeah, this one takes D batteries. <clears throat> I miss camping. Yeah, you always like camping. <laughs> you don't? No, I love camping. I just haven't had time to since everything's changed. Our last date. We didn't go camping on our last date. Yeah, we got snowed in, remember? That's right. And we stayed in and we cooked your favorite dishes. And I remember I, I, I changed the patio into this Christmas winter wonderland with the lights and the candles and, and everything else. Yeah, it was really beautiful. That's when you told me you got into law school. Yeah, that's right. Well, I don't see the D batteries here, so I'm gonna go look for Angela and see if she can get them for us, all right? Okay. Hey, Michelle. Oh, hey, Courtney. <laughs> Do you have any more D batteries? Oh, oh, did we run out? Yeah. A Christmas rush. Oh, you know what? We have a bunch of new boxes back in the storage room. Oh, where's that? Oh, I could just take you. Okay. <laughs> Are you in college? I actually just finished my undergrad, but I'm going back for more. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I graduated high school when I was like 16. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I really enjoy playing the guitar. I mean, I grew up listening to my grandma and my dad play, and I've been playing since I was like four. Wow, so do you want to play professionally? So I'm going to grad school. I just want to learn as much as physically possible about music and playing it first. Wow, I love music. Do you play? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I love animals. They've always been my passion. Sometimes when it's my turn to close up shop, I'll bring my guitar in with me, and after I close, I'll just bring it out to the floor and play. I mean, the acoustics in here are actually pretty good. Does Angela know? No, no. I think she would love it. Thank you. You followed your passion, and I want to follow mine. Yeah, I realize it's a good life when you can follow your dreams. I realize how blessed I am. Speaking of dreams, what is going on with you and Drew? Oh, we're just old friends. <laughs> sure. Really, I, when this is all over, he's gonna go back to Manhattan and I'm gonna stay here. Why? Because that's the way life works. Well, why does that have to be the way that life works? I mean, clearly you like him and clearly he likes you. Is it that obvious? Yeah. The storage room's just up here. Always the batteries. Every single year, it's the batteries that go first. <laughs> right up here. What is all of this? <laughs> Courtney?
mademoiselle, right this way. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and have a seat. Your date will be with you soon. <laughs> Music. This is incredible. <laughs> when did you have time to plan all of this? I had a little help from Santa's elves. <laughs> <laughs> this music is beautiful. Yeah, Courtney's amazing, isn't she? This is Courtney? Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, do you believe in second chances? Drew, you don't have to say that. Just, I, you don't even have to. Listen. I think we're both here for a reason tonight. I feel that someone or something is giving us a second chance. And I'm not gonna let that slip away. You're not gonna leave your law firm. Once the morning comes, uh, you're going to realize that this was just a moment. Look, sometimes I can be a little lost. But you, you never were. You always stayed true to what you believed in. Yeah, and I believed in us. And that didn't work out. Well, we can take it slow. This can be our first date. <laughs> our first date? Our first date as worker Michelle and worker Drew. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say grace? I'd like that. <laughs> Lord, thank you for this time we get to spend together. And please bless this food and bless the hands that have prepared it. We give thanks to this joyful holiday when we can celebrate. With joy we pray, amen. Do you think Drew's plan worked? I hope so. These two are meant for each other. You know, normally, I would just stay out of it. But this couple, they, they, they needed a divine intervention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Hey, that's so beautiful, isn't it? Right? And Courtney is so shy about it. Well, gets you right here. Sometimes, when I know she's locking up for the night, I'll come back to the store just to listen to her play. You sneaky thing. <laughs> and does she know you're here? Are you kidding me? She would quit and put down that guitar forever if she knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, she's playing now. There's still hope. 
to hope. To hope. Cling, cling. <laughs> So sweet. God, <laughs> thank you so much. I, I feel bad that others aren't here. Well, let's invite them. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. Guys. to intrude. No, you didn't. Come here. Really? Yeah, come on, sit down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Your playing was so beautiful. You don't have to say that. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not just saying that. It's the truth. Seriously. Can I ask you something? Yeah, yeah, of course. What's stopping you from playing? What, what do you mean? You're obviously talented, and you have so much passion. So what's stopping you from playing professionally? I, is it stage fright? Fear? Success. Success? Yeah. It's just a lot of pressure, you know? Mm. And what if this thing that I love more than anything else in the entire world just becomes another chore, like cleaning the supermarket? I couldn't take that. And I love to play right now, but what happens in five years? Ten years? What happens if this just becomes a job? What happens if... Deciding to play professionally is the best decision that you'll ever make. Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, did he win your heart? I'm trying. <laughs> Baby steps, baby steps. It's just our first date. And we're crashing it. No, no, you guys are invited. Especially after putting together this very fancy pre-Christmas dinner. Thank you. Well, anything for my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Let's go rustle up a good Christmas dinner. What do you say? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> starving. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get the lights to be on? Just tapped into the generator. Wait, isn't that outside? Yep. The breaker's inside. Ah. <laughs> wow, looks like a Christmas dream. Doesn't this mean that we get two Christmases? One here with us, but one also with our families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're pretty lucky. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best tasting fruitcake you will ever have. Is that what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dig in, everyone, dig in. This is the closest I could find to Aunt Bev's secret recipe. Mm. Yeah? Oh, girl, go. <laughs> icing on it. How did you do? Well, Tristan helped set up some of the camping stoves. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we used that to warm it up in the break room. And then set up these secret ingredients and voila. Mom, well, now it's beginning to smell like Christmas. Mm. <laughs> 
I love that my store smells like Christmas. I don't know, guys. Uh, fruitcake isn't really for me. Don't knock it till you try it. Mm. <laughs> the icing on this. How did you get the icing on it to... It tastes just like on Bev's. Really? Yeah. Honestly, this is the first time I've made it since, well... Mm. Yeah. Our last date. Well, I guess it's suitable then to have made it for our first date. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. OK, I'll try. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to serve this at the employee Christmas meal every year. Yes, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. OK. <laughs> OK. This is Amazing. Uh, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> yep. Honey glaze topped with star anise with a pinch of orange extract and a dash of vanilla extract. Is that the secret recipe? That is the secret recipe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't really get you anything, but <laughs> consider this an IOU. Well, how about a second date? Yeah, I'd like that. Well, since we're all exchanging gifts, we have a little something for you. Me? Hey. You. <laughs> for you, Tristan. And Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank you. How? <laughs> what is it? It's a Sylvia robot building kit. And you are all sold out. Where did you first find this? Michelle found it. It was high up on a display shelf. Easily missed. <laughs> I, look, I'm speechless for the first time tonight. But... Aw. Please give us pictures of her smile. Absolutely. Well, I do have one more Christmas gift. That. My grant papers. Take a look at it again. Uh, what is this? I do contracts, and your grant application's a contract. I'm authorized by the state of New York to file an affidavit to an order injunction to grant me the power to memorialize the date. I don't understand what that Basically, you got your document stamped in. All you gotta do is mail them in. Oh! <sighs> Yeah. Uh, 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 thank you. I I, I I don't know what to say. You're welcome. Uh oh. Oh wow. The lights are back on. Lights are on. Yeah. So we can get out of here soon. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> All right. Well, I need to go just check the refrigerator and freezer section really quick, just to make sure everything's powered on, right? I'll come with you. <laughs> Is that an alarm? I think that's our phone. That's bones. my phone. Oh. Wait, do we have service? Excuse oh, me. That... I don't. No, I don't no, I don't. It's, it's... I don't have service. I guess I'm the only one who's got phone service. All right, aren't you going to take that? It's fine. Tristan, mm -hmm. here, call your wife. And when you're done, let Courtney use the phone. Thank you, Drew. Thanks, Drew.
not gonna call work? I will, but coach and everyone else needed it more. Besides, I read some of the messages and the client's moving their schedule forward. So they're heading out overseas in a few hours. So what are you gonna do? I have to go back today. My promotion depends on it. And on Bev? Well, she doesn't even know I'm here, so I'm just gonna go back to my place and figure this whole thing out. And our second date? <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, wait. It's... No, it's okay. I can't expect you to change your life because of some random snowstorm in a town you barely visit. I get it. But I wanna try. You shouldn't have to force it. I don't want this to be who I am. I mean, here you are right in front of me, but I also have responsibilities. Yeah, it's okay. We made choices then, we make choices now, and maybe we made the right choices all those years ago. That's not what my heart feels. We never made decisions like that before, so why start now? Oh, <laughs> hey, true. Here, uh, thank you, thank you. Contact everybody, and, and, and my wife is contacted. And... Sorry, I interrupted. So, are you going to New York? Yeah. be able to go home soon. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> How's the food? I mean, thank goodness for backup generators. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Michelle, do you mind if I tell you something? Angela, it's okay, whatever you have to say. Drew's made up his mind, I've made up my mind, it's fine. You don't realize how special you are. What do you mean? What makes you such a good vet and a true friend is your empathy and compassion. You truly care about everything, whether it's four-legged or two-legged. <laughs> but besides that, you see the good in everyone. You see our strengths and you help guide us. You're the one that helped me make the transition from my parents' superstore into Angela's Supermart. And every day you give me suggestions on how to do even better and to help serve the community. Yeah, but that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to help each other. No, Michelle, that's what you do. <laughs> I think Drew's feeling the same way I was when I took over my parents' store. Work can be overwhelming. So what are you saying? I'm saying I don't think that Drew means that by connecting to work, he's disconnecting from you. He clearly cares about you. I don't think you should just throw that away because he has some contracts to do at Christmas. He's just, he's trying to find the right balance. are clear, I'll head back to New York.
You have a minute? I don't even know anymore. You know, you and Michelle, you have something pretty special, you know? Yeah, we did. No, oh, do. I see how you look at each other. You know, that kind of feeling, that doesn't, that doesn't come every day. And I, I think that there's a reason that, that both of you were here when the store closed. Christmas magic? Mm -mm. <laughs> no. You know, the first time I met my wife, I knew right away that she was the one. So I felt it right there in the old heart. What do you feel, Drew? I don't know. Sure you do. Yeah, you knew back in the day, didn't you? Well, well, then you know now. I think I blew it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you will blow it if you go back to New York. Son, you're not going to get a third chance. <laughs> Think about it. Service? I have service! The roads are clear. Now we just have to wait for them to plow our parking lot. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right! See you at the employee Christmas dinner. <laughs> yes, I will absolutely be there. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. In here in a couple of hours. The system's not letting me in. <laughs> Courtney, why don't you go home and get some rest? You're probably on quadruple overtime at this point. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, the store's all swept up and ready for opening soon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are these? Can you give this to Drew for me? Uh, yeah. Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to the post office to turn in these when they open up. Are you sure you don't want to wait for him? Oh, yeah. I told him I was going to leave. I just wanted to talk to Bev to be able to have that. I'm sure he's still working anyway. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care, Richie.
think they're actually plowing the roads. Well, I guess that's me. Hey, the roads are clear. We're going home. Where's Michelle? Michelle? Uh, she left. Wait. She wanted to get the grant papers to the post office. I offered to take it, but she wanted to go herself. But she gave me this to give to you for Aunt Bev. And she wanted you to open it now. <laughs> I can't believe she left me the wreath. As I remember, the post office is one block down on the left, right? Mm -hmm. Your move, pal. Hey, wait. Thanks for the wreath. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Merry Christmas. No, look, listen. When we were kids, I thought I could chase my happiness and, and find it somewhere else. But that never happened. The best times and, and the happiest times are right here in this town with you. <laughs> you can't change your whole life just because you had one magical night stuck in a store with me. Leaving you all those years ago was changing. And coming here is growing. We made a decision over a decade ago that, that we thought was, was the practical thing. We thought it was the smart thing, but it wasn't the right thing. Look, I, I really have to get to the post office. <laughs> Spend Christmas with me. In Manhattan? No, here, with Aunt Bev. We're just delaying the inevitable. Yes, we are. That's exactly why I just turned on the partnership. I don't, I don't understand. Do you remember that job that I told you about a while ago, the, the one practicing family law? Yeah. Well, I called them, and they still want me. What? Why would you do that? Because I didn't have a strong enough reason to say yes before. But. You worked so hard for that yes, partnership and, and, in New York. And, and the petless apartment and losing the woman that I love. <laughs> I've worked too hard at not listening to my heart. And my heart tells me that I love you. This is some first date. set up your lights. Oh, wonderful. And is that Michelle? <laughs> yes. Oh, it's wonderful to see you looking beautiful as always. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. <laughs> is that Holly? <laughs> I helped deliver her mom's litter. <laughs> Did you adopt her? How could I resist? I was at your clinic yesterday and saw her. Your wonderful assistant helped me out. Don't just stand there. Let's get this Christmas celebration going. And we'll have just enough time to open up presents before we head over to Angela's for dinner. 
<laughs> and everyone from the store will be there, too. And some new friends we met along the way. <laughs> and we got you a wreath. Troubles with 